the mind doctor i'd like to discuss a topic right the pip yoma means a vasoactive intestinal polypeptide secreting tumor that is a vip means a vasoactive intestinal peptide all right serves the small intestine and pancreas and stimulation the neural action stimulates secretion by the pancreas and intestines and inhibits the acid and pepsinogen secretion 90% arise from the pancreas and large volume diarrhea weight loss dehydration and hypokalemia and hypochlorhydria and also i'd like to discuss another topic together so it will be helpful my dear yes let's see that is the villus adenoma villus adenoma adenomatous polyposis or adenomatous polyps all right villus adenomas are chronic polyps with the potential for mal malignant transformation yes they characteristically secrete large amounts of mucus potentially resulting in electrolyte disturbances so the vast majority of the asymptomatic possible features are non specific lower GIT symptoms secretory diarrhea may occur and microcytic anemia and hypokalemia so i would like to make a box my dear we talked about the diarrhea so if you write diarrhea plus hypokalemia So if you make a fun a little bit K, you see the K for potassium, if I just close this one so and turn it, so it's nothing but the V. Means we have the K means the V, just write it down. Means diarrhea with hypokalemia, if I am writing, is nothing but the V. V stands on two diseases my dear we stands on the vip oma or villas adenoma now the question is how to differentiate in between these two vip oma is a vasoactive intestinal peptide secreting tumor in contrast villas adenoma is a polyps arising from the colon so this tumor this tumor usually arising from the i4 intestine p4 pancreas but i'm writing this pancreas plus intestine in contrast this villus adenomatous polyps arising from the colon so these are we can write the colonic polyps as the risk factors for the malignancy. So this is the differentiating point, the origin, all right? We can write the origin of both of them. Yes, pancreas and intestine, in contrast, this is colonic polyps. In BIPOMA, the clinical features, of course, the diarrhea, but this diarrhea is a large volume diarrhea. This is the most important part, the large volume. Large volume diarrhea. So large volume diarrhea will lead to the will lead to the dehydration as well as hypokalemia, hypochloride, all right, means hypochlorhydria. So large volume diarrhea leading to dehydration as well as the weight loss in contrast colonic polyps these colonic polyps will lead to the diarrhea not that large but they will come up with the mucus passing and this mucus this is large amounts of mucus large amounts of mucus in contrast, the large volume watery diarrhea, the secretory diarrhea, we can write the secretory diarrhea, watery diarrhea. In contrast, this is the diarrhea, but the large volume mucus. This is the clinical differentiating point so that we can understand. But both have, of course, both have this because of mucus loss, both have potassium loss. 
And some of the electrolyte imbalances, more electrolyte imbalances happen in the VIP oma, basically. And it happened this hypokalemia, but there will be an acidosis. And also, there will be calcium arrow up, there will be magnesium arrow down, which will never be found in case of colonic polyps, like the mucus means not found usually, but there will be only the hypokalemia. And because of villus adenoma, this polyp sometimes, this also secretory diarrhea, but these polyps can lead to the microcytic anemia also because of blood loss, all right? So the microcytic anemia. So this is the differentiating points in between these two. Now talk about this one more, SS box, a little bit more. So he has the diarrhea with hypokalemia minor, diarrhea with hypokalemia, say with diarrhea with hypokalemia, once again the diagnosis is the V. Diarrhea with hypokalemia, look at hypokalemia, K is leading V, all right, K is leading V, all right. So V is the VIPoma and villus adenoma. VIPoma, villus adenoma, VIPoma is nothing but vasoactive intestinal peptide. Oma means tumor, and I for I'm saying I for intestine, and P for pancreas origin. In contrast, you see the vasoactive villus adenoma polyps is the colon, we can say the vac, the vac, this is important. So villus adenomatous polyps in the colon, so this is the colon, colonic polyps. Clinical features, this is a large volume diarrhea, large volume diarrhea, there will be the diarrhea, but the large volume mucus. So the large volume diarrhea, this is a large amounts of mucus. Large volume diarrhea, large amounts of mucus. VIPoma is a, yes, extreme amounts of large volume diarrhea, so the electrolyte imbalance is more and more in contrast here. There's only hypokalemia, but you see there is hypokalemia, hypochlorine and acidosis as well, hypokalemia with acidosis, along with the hypercalcemia and hypomagnesemia. So potassium low, magnesium low, remember, but the calcium is high, acidosis. So these two together, potassium chloride, magnesium is low, as well as the calcium and acid means the high. In contrast, you see, the microcytic anemia is another additive pictures of villus adenomatous. So A for adenomatous, A for anemia, must remember. So once again, the summary talk, right? Summary talk of both of the, right? Summary talk, the diarrhea with the K. K means V. K means V, all right? So V means, right, the VIP almost and back. VIP almost the main summary point, the large volume diarrhea. VIP almost is the large volume diarrhea, volume diarrhea. In contrast, the mucus, cus. Mucus, volume diarrhea, large volume, this large amount of mucus. And electron imbalance is more and more less. In contrast, the VAC having the anemia, but there will be not anemia. I hope that right this diarrhea with the hypokalemia, this discussion will be helpful, my dear. Thank you, thank you very much. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel 
and click on bell button to get more updates.